In a recent post on the community section of my channel, I asked viewers what tips would you give to somebody new to Valheim? And today we're going to review their answers. So we're basically going through the community tips for if you're new to Valheim, what's the best things you can do to get off to a good start? Grady Martin says, never stop collecting early game resources, resin, grade off eyes, feathers, mushrooms, etc. Henry Ashman says, for your first playthrough, don't read the guides or listen to advice, just play. Take the advice the second time around when you can understand why and have gone through the discovery phase. One of the most enjoyable parts of Valheim to me was the discovery of new things, be it crafting recipes, how to tame animals, or enemy encounters. My mates and I got slapped when we first arrived at the plains by boat, and the what the hell was that moment and mission to rescue our stuff was so exciting, as was crafting iron for the first time and checking all the new crafting recipes. Abel Gonzalez says place an unconnected portal at base before you go exploring and carry materials for another portal as you explore so you can keep going and return for food slash rested or drop off loot anytime. Jaden Tykert says run around the island to find out how big your starting island is and mark places that may be strategic places to build. I prefer rebuilding villages or towers right on the ocean. I also prefer building in the Black Forest to start. Noah Linick says don't skip on the flint items. They actually are marginally better than stone. Remember to take a torch when exploring the Black Forest at lower levels. Also don't be afraid of dying. It happens a lot. Greg Phillips says that thistle is the most most essential and valuable commodity in the game. Noah Fauci says having your base near water will help you out so much during the mid to late game. Blob Icy Cake says being a gourmet chef is the most important part of the game. Vitafrey says you should follow the intended buying progression imposed by the game. Kev5565 says before going on an expedition, make a second set of weapon and armor, leaving it at base. Portal named expedition and carry materials for a portal. Always visit your death site to pick up your junk. TK says early leveling is super important. High level skills make low level weapons very strong. Blocking is so good. Alex Mercia says the Abyssal Razor is a great weapon early game. Low stamina usage and no speed penalty. Jacqueline Woolley says don't be afraid of trolls. Learn the fight technique of all enemies too instead of running away. The loot drops are worth the practice in most instances. For example, roots from abominations will serve you well into the late game. Oh, and if you see it, Pick it. Kay says, find a friend to join you and adventure with them on one server, but have a separate solo server and character for when you just have to play Valheim and your friend can't play. This video is sponsored by GPortal. Use the link in my description to save 10% on your Valheim server hosting. Lucifer says, always be willing to ask the community for help. And talking of that, we do have a fantastic Valheim community on my Discord. The link to that is in the description if you'd like to join us. Light Warrior K says, map, map, map. Whenever you find a location or resource, drop a on it. Whenever you make a base, portal, dock, or item cache, mark it. Whenever you come across a good spot to get through a gap in mountains, a navigable river, or channel in the ocean, place a marker 1000% easier. Harmony Rainbow says you can get rested bonus when you're out and about by sitting next to a campfire. Crispy Bacon says persistence is key. Always keep up a rested bonus. Grampy and Queen says don't rush it, take your time. Make sure you are fully prepared for what's to come or you will die a lot. Bacon Von Meatwitch says watch as many of your YouTube videos as they can and steer clear of falling trees. And then Charles N says the tip would be to watch Kaizen for all things Valheim. I have to say, I couldn't agree more with the last two. Brandywine6969 says the trees have it in for you. They will kill you while chopping them down. There is nobody there to yell timber. So move to where the tree isn't falling or bouncing lol they bounce. Keep the bees happy and you will get along with the game much better. I definitely agree with that one too. I sell the bees a happy merch. Link to that is also in the description if you're interested. Brandywine goes on to say trolls turn out not to be such a big deal later in the game. Get used to grailings. They will be a constant pain like gnats. Negative Rog says one, it's not a race. Take your time and enjoy. And then number two is mods, 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 and mods. The space alien says decimate a forest, put it in a box. Zoom says prepare for a fight in the black forest. Find one or two star boar to farm for meats, you're going to need 20 plus. Also breed four sets of boars at a time to get more meat. Stay in the meadows, don't build in the borderline of between those biomes or you're going to get raided every day. All the mobs are attracted to noise, every tree you cut, every rock you mine will pull everything to your location. Trolls guard copper deposits, so if you want that copper, be ready to fight the whole forest because they will not stop spawning in. Sarloff the dragon says eat and collect everything, you will need it. Tommy Rocks says don't 
don't craft a club first, always craft a stone axe first, the club is a waste of materials. Heyo Von Gans says you never have enough wood or stones, so never waste it. Zach Brown says bronze is overrated. Build a starting home where you can see the ocean and the black forest at the same time. Big C187 Stevens says play through all of the vanilla content before modding and using dev console cheats. Don't bother watching videos more than a couple months old because a few things have changed in game and all the copycat creators haven't caught up. Don't bother watching videos where the creator is doing everything in cheat mode, you won't get the same results. I'm not sure I agree entirely with Big C, but I am somewhat biased in this area, so we will move on to the next one. Woodrow's World says, don't do what I did and download a world save from somebody else, then go through their base picking up everything you don't have yet. Sure, you will get stuff faster, but it ruins the natural progression and how it should feel. I spent 20 hours in a game, then stole a save and had every weapon, clothes, food, etc. Then I didn't need to go learn it and it felt like I wasted my time. GG Nightshade GG says, I would tell them it's okay to have keep inventory on. RCB1 says, spoil as less as possible to preserve the magic of the unknowing and take your time to prepare, build and explore the game, the map and its mechanics. And Karmuth says, big blue things in the forest, not good. Would you guys like more videos like that from me where they're a bit more of a chilled vibe and maybe a little bit longer so you can just kind of chuck them on and play Valheim in the background. Let me know what you think guys, but thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.